What's going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and today is a very special day. It is Crewcast episode number 18. We got some boys in the building here, but we also got a brand new microphone that we are using. So if you've noticed that the audio is a little bit more crisp, shouts out to Christopher Columbus, aka Central Coast, Central Coast Climber. Subscribe yeah, to him on YouTube. Yeah. My guy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. But we have a loaded cast in here today. We got the crew douchebag in the building for the yeah, crew yeah. cast. Yeah. Freaking. That's me. When's the last crew? You were you were in it not too long ago. Yeah, it's been a couple episodes, but I'm like I'm usually in it most of the time. Yeah, you're usually in it. You were obviously in the camping horror stories. I was watching that back the other day, mm-hmm. dude, and I was just I was just laughing at the fact that. We were all he, we she were... who shall not be named was literally just sitting there, not Jenny. saying a single word <laughs> the whole entire time. She did it. Dude, it cracked me up because I was just, I was watching all of us just go off and she's yeah. just <laughs> like a piece of furniture. She's so. like, I don't even care about any of this. You forced me to do this. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, bitch, I want you to meet my friend. And you're, you're like, this is what we do. We do these crew casts. We go live on yeah. Treeb Talks. Come on, bitch. We're not like most friends. That was, the one, was that the one crew cast we did live? Yeah, that was the yeah, one was we did. Live. Was that when it became the crew cast? Yeah. 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 I, because I just did that amazing intro when we were at my cabin. Yeah. And you were like, Stay tuned for this, and I was just sold it, dude. You did. You it went was, hard. It not was money. Not. Well, a, I remember after that, you're like, "Damn, Colton, that was a really good intro." Or I honestly whatever. don't think it can be stressed enough how much hype you really bring to the crew cast. Yeah, you're, you're definitely one of the most important pieces. Oh, Every you. everybody in the crew cast, like everybody in the crew, is like a big part of the mm-hmm. of the channel, and the channel. You know, with the crew content, it's consistently growing. Yeah. So, you know. Dude, I was thinking today at work, I was thinking, like, what do I... <laughs> We're going to just start off deep. I was like, what do I really want to do in life? And I was thinking about things I enjoy. Like, I could try to become a pro disc golfer or whatever, but, like, I was like, I really like helping Tree with fucking YouTube, dude. Yeah. Like... I do too. I, I want to. I would love every just week. like totally going all in for like this YouTube thing and just like quitting my job and just like doing your YouTube. Well, that's what I've been trying to say. Dude, I would absolutely love to do that. I think that's like a passion. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people like. I mean, you look at like the people you watch, like the Vlog Squad. Like, I mean, those are guys that quit their job and just said, you know what. I'm just gonna make YouTube videos. Well, most with my of them friends. did freaking Vine before it, so they were. Well, I mean, still doing, fuck. still doing like Vine and shit. Like yeah. that's that's like why I listen to like Gary Vee and all them, dude. It's possible to make a living doing yeah. this type of shit. And like in the future, like this is what I would like my job to be. Oh, yeah. so many people make a living off YouTube oh, yeah. videos, and yeah, like, there's so yep. many people. You can make millions. You can make a good living just having people make How much do you think yeah, so, MMG freaking yeah, makes? Yeah, like for example, Logan Paul, Ryan Paul, yeah. like those bunch of other famous YouTube actors. They have never had an actual job in their life. Yes, their family was rich too. But they have also made most of their money. Yeah, and they started off on Vine, too. and like, Buy YouTube and Vines and stuff like Vine that. Vine like, used to pay people lots of money. Well, that's, like, yeah. how it is now. Like, people, like, are like quick. They make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. People are quick to scoff at TikTok. Yeah. But, dude, that's the new Vine. Yeah. T- TikTok. Basically. TikTok's really do it. I'm personally not on TikTok. I mm-hmm. don't want. I mean, like, there, there's some cool ones. Like, don't get me wrong. But there's also some. There's a lot of dumb ones out there. Yeah. Like, come on. Did you really do that? Yeah. But there's, there's also a lot of. Well, that's actually kind of dope. There's there's some people out there that can make a make a living off of TikTok. But we got we got Lerald in the building. Lerald? Hey, uh... What are you passionate about? You passionate about building fucking houses? Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> it seems like you've just been grinding. Like, yeah, <laughs> I like it. I yeah, like so doing it. What have you been doing the last? Uh, few landscaping, weeks or apparently. Landscaping. Like I've been landscaping out out front of my grandma's house, and then just uh, we had to build a front staircase, and then we're gonna start inside painting again, and mm-hmm. and um, uh, grouting, a little uh, and tiling. A little bit of everything. I a like it. Just, just getting her done. Huh? Just getting it done. Mm-hmm. It's already up for sale. But yeah. we're just like doing 
shit until it sells. The renovation. Yeah. Well, see, well it's like it's almost done. It's just we just gotta grind it out. That's where Trebe's at right now, though. Is that this house is gonna be up in the market here soon too? So let's just buy it. Dude, let's all let's all just buy it. I'm just, looking for. Just I'm actually looking buy for a it. house. Are you really? Just yeah. For a house. That's kind of the next step I want to take too. I kind of want to buy a house too. That's kind it's of. It's not. I mean, my grandma's place is a nice place. Well, I mean, just like I just want to invest in that, you know, because yeah. it's kind of it's kind of stupid. Like, I it's mean, always good to invest in property or whatever. Uh, exactly. I honestly understand like why like my landlords are selling this house, but you know, it kind of sucks being like a tenant and you really don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you don't have a choice whether like these new landlords are gonna kick you out or if they're gonna just buy the house. Yeah, for them. yeah, yeah. Raise the rent or do yeah. something yeah. like that. So you just you just never know. So it's kind of. It's, been, it's kind of a crapshoot, so that's kind of where we're at right now, that's trying to fair. figure that out. I mean, like, honestly, there might be some worth into, like, you know how, like, there's this video editing, so- like, set up at, like, in the movie theater? Yeah. Dude, honestly, it might not be a bad idea to just rent that. Yeah. Because you can rent that fucking, that place for however many dollars, like, an hour or like really? a week mm-hmm. you can rent out that place and just like edit all your content there yeah that's not a bad well, idea i'm thinking too like like this is off topic but when you guys were talking about how i like doing stuff over at my grandma's house <coughs> like my uncle has a bunch of like tiling tiling and like paint just a bunch of shit that we can use for other places so it's like yeah i don't know like thinking about putting like ads in papers about hey we got shit we can renovate places yeah. if you need a place that needs fixed up for rental or whatever. And then start building myself like that. Mm-hmm. Just do just, like a little independent contract. Yeah, do you like a little independent. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They pick up barn. Pick up and my And my uncle, yeah. like, that's what he's done. Like, mm-hmm. That's what his life has been. Yeah. And so yeah. it's like, and when he's on track, he's on track. Like, mm-hmm. if you can get him doing stuff, he's there. And so like, just build money off of doing like fix up places for rentals that people need fixed up and then build that and then buy like and then have a loan for a bank and mm-hmm. then buy a house and then fix that and flip it yeah there's and yeah. then you just then build, build it and hustling. go Dude, it's, and then... it's it's all hustle but mm-hmm. it's i mean you can do it and i mean if you really want to get real, real, real about it, you can make a YouTube channel from it. And then end <laughs> yeah. up making money from you flipping houses. I'm thinking houses, about doing my Cardinals YouTube and then monetize shit too. Dude, but that's it. like, if you're honestly passionate about that. Because like, I just love doing this stuff with you guys. Yeah, yeah. I just fucking fun. love this. Dude, but I mean, because like, that's what I was trying to tell, uh, I was trying to tell Barnage, I was like, dude, if you find like, you're passionate about like doing this like work stuff and like yeah. f- like flipping like for you flipping houses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you could so get cool. money from flipping houses, and then you could get money from YouTube because you're yeah. monetized your videos of you flipping houses. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you get like two paychecks coming in for that. That's why I always preach like everybody should have a YouTube channel. Yeah. I think like if you're passionate, why not? Because if you you're passionate about it. You can you can literally monetize anything these days. Yeah. There's not a lot of things you can't monetize besides shit that's like obviously illegal. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like like there's there's nothing you can't just there's YouTube videos for everything. Yeah, there is. If you want like I remember which was funny cuz I think about this a lot. I don't know I don't know why I always think about it, but in 2007 or 2008, I googled how long would it take to watch every single YouTube video on YouTube. Yeah. And it said 10 years. And that was in 2007. Yeah, so it'd probably be like 40 years. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, dude, because... like Everybody's I th- just been building. I, oh, yeah. I think it's like fucking over 100,000 videos get uploaded in a day. Yeah. So, I wouldn't doubt it. So, I mean, like, that's just... That's, that's insane. insane. That's insanity, that dude. That's a business... It is. It is. It's just going. It's just a platform. Like that's that's another thing that I think would be a pretty dope idea to do is like building the next big social network platform, because then like mm-hmm. everybody's uploading to you. like dude YouTube basically has like a monopoly on that fucking on yeah. like video making yeah industry. But like with streaming now, streaming has so many different options. And you know what's crazy too? Yeah. Like since we're talking about streaming and everything too. I'm thinking, like, like you know how Disney Plus has such a reach on everything now? Yeah. Like, they literally they have a signed lot. a contract on Simpsons. And, like, these big cartoon 
Yeah. Like, they sign contracts to get all these... Mm -hmm. Like, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that's a monopoly right there. Mm -hmm. They're just literally getting the best shows from the industry and making sure that they have it. Yeah. Well, that's like how Netflix is going to be, like, the least bought streaming service, like... Gear soon. Gear yeah. soon, dude. And, they, 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 and that was an empire when they started off. It used to only be Netflix. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That Hulu, was crazy. There's Hulu, crept up there's, Hulu, Hulu. there's Voodoo. Yeah. There's Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. Exactly. There's... Jinx, you owe me some Coke. Yeah. I owe you a lot of Dude, there's just... There's so many streaming services now, and, like... I know you went through it when you moved out to your trailer, but, like, when you don't have internet and you don't watch, like, the streaming <laughs> services, I feel like it's just... Everything's just so boring. You yeah. just gotta go back to watching DVDs like it's a 2006. <laughs> oh, I saw my phone sure. and data. And well, I mean, I yeah, but but I, I just... I, I don't like watching Hulu and Netflix on my phone. I don't know if that's yeah. weird, but, like... No, no I weird. understand. I, I compl totally understand. I completely would rather watch... Like, if I'm watching... If I'm binge-watching a show, I, I'd much oh, yeah. rather watch it on, like, a TV. Mm -hmm. Than like on True. my phone. Yeah. The only thing I could like watch on my phone is YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. The preference is obviously would be the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but I mean, you, 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 I guess I prefer YouTube on my phone. Yeah, I so do. do I. I mean, <laughs> I'll I'll watch YouTube. But I'll pull it up on the TV. TV sometimes. I'll pull it up on the TV if I'm in the living room. You know. Yeah. Like, like, like my I mean, I got a like I got a whole ass like, fucking Roku. Like I'm not just gonna not use that. Yeah. To like all of its advantage. Yeah. You know what a, I mean? In my living room, there's a 65 inch TV. So yeah. why mm -hmm. why wouldn't I put something up there if I wanted to watch something? That's yeah. YouTube. It's like you have a smart TV. You're not just gonna not yeah. know, load up some fucking streaming services. Yeah, you know? true. You got the internet to do it. Yeah, exactly. And just load that shit up. <coughs> but you know, Cameron, you're looking extra douchey today. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, I I mean I think probably I'll throw in a picture right here. These freaking moccasins that you have on right now, dog. They're dope. Those, those, are. those are classy cool. moccasins. Those are clean. Honestly, you have to admit, they're clean as fuck. They well, are. where did you get them? They okay, got so structure and they're fucking. They, I thought they were legitimate Tims when he walked no, in. No, okay, so when I, they are real, actual, real moccasins. Did you get but them? But they off look online? like shoes. On I those. bought them off the MLB market. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? But because. I was looking, one of my friends sent me a picture of, bo like, blue Boston Vans. Like, they were about, like, they looked like, like, they were the high tops. And mm -hmm. they had the, the line across. And they were blue, and the line was white. And there was a bunch of red bees just all over it, white shoelaces. And it looked clean. I was like, damn, I have to get me a pair of Boston shoes. Mm -hmm. And then I was looking, and I was looking. And they had just a bunch of Boston slides, a bunch of stupid other oh, yeah. Boston slippers. Yeah. Yeah. They'll literally yeah. put a logo on anything. Yeah, so. and it was just a bunch of just ugly shoes, and then I'm seeing these. <laughs> and I'm like, those are sick. And I'm like, oh boy, let me look at let me look at these. And I look, and I'm looking at the picture of it, and it has the Boston Red Sox logo on top, and then has the B on the side, just the one B on the outside. And there's some shoelaces, and it's a high toss with some fur in it. And I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, damn. That would look clean as fuck with my outfit, with these black pants, my Boston <laughs> jersey, and my fucking, champion shirt. Yeah, you're my You knew you were going to be on camera socks. today. <laughs> and I was just like, damn, this shit looks clean. I'm going to have to cop me a pair. And then they happen to be on sale. Oh so my man. god, just sweet, just, just fucking yeah, happen to be on sale. Just yeah. Drop them in his lap already. Just put it in my cart right yeah. now. You won't even Jeez. believe how much they were on sale. 60 percent off. 60 percent oh, off oh, on the wow. money. Wow. These shoes were normally sixty dollars. So mm. now he got them for. I don't I could pay, do quick maths. So. But I also twenty seven shipping. No, I paid with the without the shipping. These were thirty two dollars ninety nine cents without the shipping. But since I got the the two day shipping, they were a little more expensive yeah. and came to forty five. I always get the two day shipping. So I was like, no, how to get the two day shit? And I you, ordered it. And you used I never did. honey really? yeah. sponsor <laughs> yeah. of this. And uh, use my code Treeb for <laughs> like I when I bought you guys Christmas presents, <laughs> I bought all that on on uh, Black Friday. But here, oh, but yeah. here's the better thing. Here's it the all better came thing. In, like Decemberish. I ordered these <laughs> like late Tuesday morning. Yeah. Oh, and it's Wednesday night. And it's Wednesday night. 
So it so came in today. And it came in today. That's. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah, Shout out to MLB Store. Yeah, and these came in from, that's way better. And, and than I, I was tracking it. I was tracking on FedEx, and these came in from Ohio. Wow. And these came in in one day. Those bitches were piping all the way to loose. Yeah, and just like, those bitch, those bitches saw some air miles. Yeah. Was <laughs> like, Damn. I'm blessed. Thank you. You are. Blessed. You are blessed, Damn. dude. Today was a good day for you. I'm glad Today you had was. a good day. And then I woke up. I walked up, I, I walked outside, like, around... Uh, you were feeling blessed. <laughs> I, I walked out at 8 o'clock in the morning. It was a bright, sunny day. I lit up a joint. I was like, damn, today's going to be a good day. <laughs> and then I go I back inside, I play a little video games. My homie Chad hits me up to come smoke. I, I go up there and I smoke. We go to the dispensary, do our thing. And then we go smoke again, because, you know, I just like to smoke a lot. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, um, and then we're hanging out. And then I get home, and there's just... <laughs> what? And then there's my name on it. I'm like, no way. I was like, no way. This is that. There's no way this happened. I ordered it for the four to five days. There's no way this is happening. But no, no, the two to three days. Like, no way this is happening. One day, really. I ordered them in the Damn. morning. No dude, shout way. out to Fed ass, dude. So I was like, I was telling everyone, I was like. And I, and like, I have a buddy that lives in San Bernardino, and he's a big boss of fan as me, and I showed him a picture of these, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to have to steal those from you when I get up there. And <laughs> I'm like, nah, it's on. I'm going to kill you if you try. You're like, these, like, these, these stay on my feet. These stay yeah. on my feet. I'm not getting you no creases. off when I'm dead. I ain't getting no creases on these bad boys, even though they're mocks, but like, mm, they're the most comfortable. And it's winter, so good luck. They're they, on all, all seas. They are yeah. going to be the most comfortable shoes I've had. Even the bottoms, like, it has a good bottom, like, feel that. Like, that, that's, solid. that's solid. Like, that's that's good. a yeah. solid yeah. bottom. Like, Cam, but let me be real, though. You're also, like, the worst on shoes out of anybody I've ever No, I keep my shoes clean. Dude, I feel like you always be no, wearing, like, bullshit. white vans to, like, play football. Dude, treat. Well, they have that one how, pair. The how one, many pair? the dopest and cleanest shoes in the group. What do you mean? But you always come in, like, play football in your treat, white van. You know how many, like, white, two you know how many pairs? Vans, you know how many pair of vans I have? How many? I have ten pairs of vans. Well, I guess that's true. I guess you just don't bring out the good ones. I never bring out the good ones. How many pairs of those Star Wars vans did you buy? One. I only bought one. Didn't didn't you step in dog shit the first day you got them and you never wore them again? (laughs) No, I wore them again and I gave them... I wore them them probably for like a solid five months and I gave them to Cameron. Yeah, he gave them to me. You threw them away. No, I wore them for a long <laughs> time. Those were dope shoes. Well, they, were dope. they were legendary. Yeah, they were dope. I wore them for a long ass time until they just, like, they kind of just fell apart. On well, me. that's like how my Roches were. Yeah. Those Roches fell apart when we were playing football, which is a brilliant <laughs> segue to freaking that football game oh. we played against the crew that called us out. Oh, yeah, dude. These did are comfy. Lose? You have way bigger oh, did feet you not play? Me, you Yeah, I was there. Oh, I was on their team. Oh, yeah. Who won? Nice. Yeah. yeah, but, dude, yeah, that was just nice that was just terrible. Drevin just got, like, Because, Cole, you weren't, you weren't there. Yeah. yeah you course. weren't there, so. I playing football. But, no, that lengthy kid, he freaking learned. Oh, my God. He was good. A few times. He was good. Yeah, guy. He had just long arms. So... For all y'all that don't know, know. we tra- Dude, talking about shoes, bro. These Romeos. Well, I need a pair. Dude, I, I need to get me a pair too. Not everyone that lives up in Idaho, they've got to get them a pair of Romeos. These hey, Tree, I gotta pick good. six off your ass. Dude, that was like the second or third game, and I was just and I was just throwing on the yeah, run. Yeah, you were. Just well, trying, you, you were was, literally staring him down the whole time. Well, that's why, because I was gonna try and throw it to Cameron on the run. So I was like, I wonder if I can rut, scramble right and throw across my body and hit Cameron here. Because Cameron always bitches about how I didn't fucking. You never, never throw, throw it to me. And when you, you do, it's usually six. when he does, it's usually way behind me or way it in was, front of me. It was way behind me, dude. Really I don't understand. It, it, no, this it was, is how it is. It's either way behind me or Cameron, way in front of me. Cameron, like, it was way fuck? behind you because like, I picked six. Me and Trevin, we are, we have been great friends for a long ass time. True. But our connection in football Fair. is the absolute. I feel like worse. I feel like me and you are actually all right. We have a great connection. Me and but you we, throw I never play other. quarterback. We, me and you never play quarterback. Yeah, dude. The other. thing is, though, is that like <laughs> I like, literally me and you. I throw it deep with you. Yeah. All, almost. And I 90 feel like per- I could hit you. Ninety per- routes. Yeah, ninety percent of the time. Ninety percent of the time when I throw it deep, it's going to Bryce. Well, dude, the freaking first. 
or second game, whichever it was when we stopped playing the crew because that was just terrible. Dude, I fucking went off. Like, I threw, like, all the touchdown passes, and I fucking hit small, I mean, smalls, talls in the end zone, like, two or three times. Yeah. And, dude, I was just going off, and people still always find a way to bitch. It was Connor. It, oh, people yeah, always... and I literally dialed, I you know, that cracked my ass up. I was gonna, oh, yeah. I was gonna fight Connor for the football. Because I dialed up the play. Well, dude, and it was a good throw to well, you, yeah, too. Yeah, because I literally came over to you, and I was like, I'm doing a post to the yeah. to the outside border. So just hit me. And I literally hit the route perfect. The guy didn't even know what I was doing. And you threw the perfect ball. But then Connor just, like, speeds up from doing nothing. Superhuman. <laughs> yes, speeds up from doing nothing and just grabs it with one hand. I love Connor. Dude. And I literally watched him do it, and I was like, I'm not going to fight him for the ball, because then we either both don't catch it or, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> or something. Well, it was almost like it was a pick, like, with yeah. how quickly can like, he... Like, how he, he came out of nowhere. Yeah, to grab like, it. I didn't yeah. even... I was looking at you the whole time, I throw it, and then the ball's in the air, and I just see Connor just, yeah, just like, like, almost in slow motion, just running yeah. to get it, just, <laughs> and I just let him have it, because, like, I watched him do it the whole time, and I was like, I'm not gonna fight him for it, because then neither of us will probably catch it, so then he just caught it, and I was like, alright, well, whatever. Backyard football, man. Sometimes. We get into it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Dude, no, I'm honestly really surprised. I kept my mouth shut with that new guy coming in. Dude, that was, yeah, he was so mouthy. Like, oh, I like, I like, I like He how was they, drunk like, when he showed up. Yeah, yeah I know. Dude. I was pissed. And I like how they come in and they're like... They tried up set, they tried setting, setting up, up our field, shit. dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, like you don't even know. Like, It's clearly like, look at the trees, bro. Three first downs. We've done yeah. been yeah. doing this for years. Doing it, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I know these are long, but I mean, like, they were bitch, backyard this football. is backyard football. They were football. complaining about asphalt, oh dude. All they were running was literally fucking slant routes. Like, yeah. it's not hard to it's, <laughs> That's the thing, too, that pissed me off because of, like, the style in which they played. Like, yeah. we are here to play backyard bullshit. Yeah. Like, we're going to fuck we're around, huck a ball have a you. good time. These fuckers are, like, on a three-second throw clock. Like, yeah. that's what they suggested. They're like... So, like, do you just have all day to do throw? You just, do you have, like, nano blitzes? Like, do you yeah. just go and start? You know, what, what the fuck happens, you know? Yeah, We're going to set up cones for these first downs. They set up cones. Dude, we almost got to that point. Dude, yeah, but then we but realized we, we weren't. Did. Yeah. We realized. We never did. Yeah. And we played there for years. Yeah. Literal years. And we've had fights over shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, that's why we need it. On that's the what trees. Right. Yeah, uh, they're like, well, I mean, it'd probably like cut down the arguments. We want the arguments. Yeah, I mean, like, like yeah, shit. I mean, like, shit, no matter what, even with the cones, you're gonna have an argument if whether or not you're lined I up feel with like, the cone or not. Yeah, I, I feel mean, like, like no matter what, an argument's gonna happen, so the cone yeah. doesn't give a fuck. We're still we're gonna say, but the cone's supposed to be lined up with the tree. Oh, but the cone's the left to the tree. Yeah. Uh, no, it's to the right. No, it's to the left. Yeah. No, it's in the middle. Like, yeah. we're gonna have arguments about that then. I mean, like, yeah. I honestly want I honestly want a rematch, but like actually play on our fucking terms. Yeah, yeah. and I just think it's kinda of irritating too though, like with them setting all that up. Like we had a system. We've had a system for years. I think that's yeah. what threw Dreep off because Dreep doesn't usually play that bad. No. No. He did he did have a bad game. Yeah. He yeah. played bad. He played yeah. bad the there first was, game and was, the second yeah, game. Yeah, there was and a, he kept it, saying it was my ball, but there was a, the, we played a game with Mike Ball before, Treeb, like think, like last week, and he was throwing dimes yeah, with yeah. it. I mean, and Treeb, like, I think it was you went out for a round because you're on Dreeb's team, yeah. and he threw a ball, and it was awful. Yeah. Like, I could have picked it. Yeah, no, well, I just, no, and I dropped it, and but him, like, it was like him, most of the time they were bad. Yeah, yeah. no, me and him like, usually have great connection, but he cannot give it, he cannot throw it to where it yeah. was only where I could catch it. He would literally throw it to where it was easy, to where the other guy mm -hmm. could Well, catch the thing it. is, is like, that, he was not, I he, think he got, he got too in his head about like how athletic these other kids were, and he wanted to throw it to Leighton on every single play. Yeah. He was like literally... I think it was like... Like he, like he didn't even like, like, if I'm being honest, he didn't look at me too much unless I was running deep. And I'm yeah. like, when he, when he would throw it to me deep, I only had, what, three good catches out of five? I mean, like, yeah. that's not going to do too much. I mean, like, I can only run so many deep passes and I think before that's I'm fucking the way, winded. I think that's the way Drew gets to, though, if he has Lage on his team, is like... If there's new people on the other team, he's throwing like, it to late. He's throwing it to late because they don't know what they do. Yeah. yeah. 
even though it's the simplest shit, because we figured it out. Cause oh, yeah, we, we play agree. it every week. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah. Well, and I mean, we used to yeah, anyway. But it's, yeah. it's, an, I don't know. It was just it threw it threw off our mojo completely. I'm just glad I had a good second game. Yeah, that's all that I can. I'm about. glad I could finish out with. I'm not gonna lie though, I I feel like I had some pretty nice catches. You did, dude. There's a I couple like, of them. I feel like I had like at least three good catches. Dude, but I will say I do want that tall kid to play more well, because he Cameron, he's like that I kid that I was catching. Cameron, the, I was I was pissed off at you because you fucking traded me over to the other team, and then I was literally their fucking fifth option. I gave you the ball a couple times. Dude, I was the fourth you option. You were on their team. Bryce. Oh. In the first game, Bryce. it was all those other kids. I was like, in the second game, I was giving you Bryce. balls. You know how you're usually like the third or the second option? Yeah. I was the fourth option. I was the fourth option on that's why. Team. That's why I yeah. hate it when we get like whole groups and we try to intermingle with those groups because it's never going to be like that. Yeah. Like, never try to meet new people, kids. Yeah, never meet well, new people. Well, Just have only, one group. In a, yeah. Well, in our well, group, two, two groups. In our group, two, though, really like close. when we play football or whatever like we all want the ball yeah and i feel like we'll you, complain yeah they, and and even if there is like a new face like i'm sorry you're not you gotta work bottom of the total pole bitch you gotta work your way up yeah that's the thing dude because colton i mean when he first came in you didn't get the ball very much mm-hmm. but then, then but then he fucking started, started started building himself yeah. back up and he started being like and Colt's Colt probably, is probably like the best like as a quarterback as me and me and fucking Drew, the best backup, dude. Yeah. dude no, but you are, I'm the best. Man. You are know. such a good corner just because you are so lengthy. I mean, yeah. Like it's so hard when Colton's covering Dead somebody ass. because his arms are yeah. so fucking long and I you have, can't like. I have the hardest time with Colge. I, 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 I can manhandle Colge. Col- Colge, dude, Col- he's just <laughs> he's long. Colge covering me is it's just a bitch. Dude. <laughs> it's over. For I you mean, guys. he he presses at the line <laughs> and like he, a good corner. Yeah, yeah. And I play man yeah. like a real goddamn yeah. man. Yeah. He plays man to man. Yeah, but all you have to do with Colton, because like I'm six two, about one about one eighty five, and I'm like and I'm like five eight. I'm like Colton, this, but look and, at his and, reach though. And I'm just like Colton, and his strength. I push is, this nigga down, jump ball I would all say, day. I, I would shove say his little hands out. That would be bad, <laughs> like, but his strength is ridiculous. No disrespect to my no 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 disrespect to my main piece and all about me like <laughs> in this match I would be cold. Okay, time. okay, but like let's see. Let's I just I know Cameron's obviously gone. gonna have the reach on Colge, but I just want to see. And I have the put, hands. Put, I have the hands on it. Let's him. see the reach. True. I have the best hands out of you. Dude. <laughs> I still have the reach. But that's still pretty fucking... Uh, that's what he's like. For, being, for <laughs> being a good four or five inches taller than me. I mean, like, okay, so I'm, my reach is only an inch or two longer, but I mean, like... Well, that's why Colt would be such a good UFC fighter. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does have reach. Because, like, if he just oh, touch I, weight... I, I, and he cut like, so no. much weight. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you'd have Should to, I start training MMA? Well, well speaking of that, let's let's hear your opinions on the fights. I didn't personally watch it. Oh, so dude, uh, that, was, that was called way too early. It was it was called it was doctor's decision. Um, Bullshit. I wasn't really liking it because Nate Diaz. If you ever watch any of his other fights, his eyes, his, his face fun. opens up like that every single time. Yeah. Because he has so much scar tissue, because he's a right here. bad guy. Yeah, yeah. right bad here and right here, under yeah. the eyes yeah. and above the eyes, so much scar tissue, and that's like the easiest place to open if you're a fighter. Yeah, and then like, and yeah. everybody knows he's a late round fighter. Yeah, he's a late round fighter. The doctor technically called it. Jorge Masvidal's the BMF, the baddest motherfucker. He already said. Nate Diaz already said he's coming back for that. Oh, yeah, and Jorge said that, too. And Dana, he said before the fight that this is just going to be a one-time thing. And I have to call bullshit on that, yeah. Dana, if you're listening. Yeah, yeah Dana, really, Dana. This is, that's BS because there's so many people that want the BMF belt. And so, technically, there's no weight class, but they fought at 170. Yeah. But 170, there's, you know, Conor McGregor, there's Khabib, they're... They're all gonna want that BMF. And they're isn't, bad Connor, motherfuckers. isn't Connor allegedly coming out of retirement or something? Well, he like that? he never like quote unquote retired. He said, he said he was he's fighting something. But he said he's fighting. People say he's gonna fight Cowboy Cerrone, but like I heard it's in January is what he said. Yeah, he's and fight. and it's not it's not gonna be against Cowboy Cerrone. It's gonna be against someone else. He said he doesn't give a fuck. He guy. says he doesn't give a fuck, but he cares. That's what all UFC fighters yeah. say. Well, well, he's because... gonna come back in January. He's gonna fight Khabib, Nate Diaz, or Jorge Masvidal. You, I'll put money on that. Why would you come back and fight Cowboy? 
You know what no, I mean? No, because he he's lost. He's got knocked out his last three fights. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's got right? knocked the fuck out. If, he's, I, if I'm Conor McGregor, I'm chasing after that big paycheck. Are you fucking kidding? Well, yeah, know? that's what exactly yeah. what Jorge said when Nate Diaz called him out after the Anthony Pettis fight. He was like, Jorge, I want to fight you, and Jorge did an interview, and he said all he heard was cha ching, you know, yeah. money signs because. Those fucking fighters got paid a lot of money to do that BMF belt. Well, that's what I'm saying. Man, he should have gotten. That should have been. Oh yeah, they, they should have. They should have gone. I think the doctor stoppage wasn't a good idea. Because Nate Diaz, even like he just gets start. He starts just like, come on, yeah, motherfucker, he, let's go. I like the shit just talking. It was a good idea to in. do the BMF belt. Doctor called it off too early. Well, you can't, and that's that's another thing Nate too. You can't always have, opens up. You can't have a belt yeah. for the baddest motherfucker and, and then just have it end for the fucking yeah. doctors, like. And technically, it's a knockout. Yeah. Tec- it goes on their record as a knockout, which is bullshit. Which is BS. Yeah. Jorge, I'm not taking anything away from him. He's a bad motherfucker. Fucks people up. He's a West Coast gang or East Coast gangster, but I did not think that fight ended the way it should have. How was the rest of the card? The rest of the card was actually pretty good. Darren Till, I don't really like Darren Till. He had a pretty good fight. There's some clean ass knockouts, dude. Really? That's so that's what I like to see on my UFC cards. Oh yeah, we didn't watch all of the prelims though. And then uh so yeah, I went up to Coeur d'Alene to watch that. Uh up to Mike's house. Shouts out to Mike. Mike, Amber and Josh's. It's their like little duplex thing. I went up with Taryn. Taryn's an awesome host. Mike's a great host. Dude, I want to move to Coeur d'Alene now. Coeur d'Alene's a nice place. Dude, Coeur d'Alene's beautiful, like, in all honesty. It, it is beautiful. beautiful. It's a gorgeous place. Awesome. That, Coeur d'Alene yeah. and Sandpoint yeah. might be, like, the most beautiful place. Coeur d'Alene is where I'm going to have North my Lewis restaurant. North Lewis and North Idaho. Yeah, dude. There's no beautiful that's place. What yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what you're talking about. I went up there to a few different restaurants, and fucking Guy uh, Fieri, I know I'm saying his name wrong. I think that's how Guy you say Ferrari. it. No, it, it's Fieri. Oh, Technic- is it really? Technically, it's Fietti. Yeah. Oh. oh. You ever watch Hot Ones with him? No. Oh, well, he, it's Guy Fietti. Oh. He did his show, you know, where he yeah. does places, and he did a couple different places in Coeur d'Alene, and I went to those places, and they're really good. In the one place, Capone's Bar and Grill, they have NFL ticket, yeah. and they had all the games on. So we went there for breakfast, and I got to watch the Steelers game. Ooh, nice. And then we went there again, and we got a little bit drunk. <laughs> yeah, of course. Because Mike's mom was like, oh, yeah, it's on us. The guy didn't card me or whatever. So I was, dude, they had 43 beers on tap. 43. Damn. Wow. But you know what I got? Huh. Coors Light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well we, we had that. We had that discussion. They today. had a lot of alcohol, like. I think you would love that place because you said yeah. you said in the other Capone's. one you, you want to try all of them. Oh yeah, I want to try a variety. Capone's, right Capone's is awesome, dude. If you're ever in the Coeur d'Alene, like northern Idaho area, go to Coeur d'Alene. Go to Capone's. They got football on. They had like little things, so each TV had two little flags with the games, mm-hmm. so you could. So the one TV had the Steelers and Colts, their little flags. Oh, then, really? Nice. And then two other flags for what games on after that. So you can, and you can choose your own spot. Dude, so yeah. and then yeah. So well, that's what I'm fun. saying. We should either. It was an awesome place to go to. We should either make another Coeur d'Alene trip this weekend <coughs> or the weekend after. I have to schedule the weekend. Oh yeah, because I forget. Yeah. yeah. You can't. You just don't got weekends. Mm-hmm. So. But dude, I'd be. Yeah, I'm so down to go because I haven't even. I haven't been up there and just like hung out. Like the only time oh, I ever. Awesome. I want to move there. Actually, I have a couple of times, but the only times like I really ever have gone to Coeur d'Alene is for like sports. Like, in yeah, high in high school. Yeah. No, yeah, it was fun going there. We played a little disc golf. We only went to one course though. Well, see, that's an. And I there's a do few that courses. Too. I want to go to Farragut because that's where they do like actual pro tournaments. Coeur d'Alene is beautiful. I my it's uh... awesome. Winter, summer, spring, fall. It's awesome. Beautiful. There. My well, grandma's the... sister. Yeah. Uh, your great auntie. Yeah, my great auntie and my great <laughs> uncle, Ina and Dwayne. Yeah. They they had a they built a wood cabin up in Coeur yeah, that's the place right on the water. Oh, right on Lake yeah, Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, they like they built it, hand built it themselves. In Bayview, or is it like in Coeur d'Alene or Sandpoint or Hayden? It was probably Hayden. It, Hayden. It's one of those little. It was probably. But Hayden. it's on Coeur d'Alene Lake, like yeah, it's right so, on it. So it might be. Well, yeah, I don't so know. I was looking at it too, and like. One place I've always wanted to live is, like, Hayden. 
It's like I, always, I used to live in Hayden. Yeah, I always thought Hayden would be good in like Rathrum. Cause like yeah, I know I, I used to live in Rathrum too. Well, I used to just fish down there because that they had that nice ass house up mm-hmm. there. So like, we just go up there. Oh, yeah. And I know Coeur d'Alene has a newspaper too. So I mean like <coughs> just moving yeah. up to Coeur d'Alene, doing like the Coeur d'Alene Free Press or doing something like that. I mean, wouldn't even be Dude, that bad. That Northern there. Idaho and. Yeah, we used to kind of been known for the racists up there, like in the Rathdom kind of area, Hayden or uh, Spirit Lake. Really, they used to have a lot of racists. They they had Ku Klux Klan meetups and stuff. Damn. And like I remember, my dad was telling me a story about uh, they're looking at this house on Hayden Lake, and uh, there's this other there's this uh, black man that was like trying to buy the house, but the those people were like really racist they're part of the kkk and like they when it, they like just totally freaked out when they saw that black guy my, my Dude, that's parents like ended up out of stepbrothers yeah my parents ended up not uh buying that house obviously yeah but and it's it's calmed down in the last like 10 years or so there's not many well, probably even of the longer races. than that honestly yeah. like like idaho just gets a bad rap for like almost yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like Education, mostly. Well, but education, like, that's facts. That yeah. is fair. That is facts. But yeah. It's yeah. kind of different, because each state has different standards, by say. Yeah. And we have a, like, Idaho kind of has a higher standard. That's the thing. So, like, you know how Idaho, you only had to have, Idaho, the state of Idaho, you only had 48 credits, but Lucen, you had to have 52 or something yeah. weird like that. So, like, technically, like, like, we're better in the whole schooling thing than like California but because California has so many immigrants yeah they have a lower standard so technically they're better yeah. you know in education. In Dude, education, but I'm, yeah. I'm gonna I'm but we're like actually better, I can't better. I can't agree or disagree with that because no, I don't know about that no they're they're like there's Not actual the stuff. Because the there, it's there's actual people from stuff out of the country that don't know as much as there's like a lot of there's like there's us. there's a lot of Mexicans there yeah like but they have they have a lot of Mexican teachers and they have they have some teachers yeah yeah like, well that's what like, I'm there's, I mean, like, yeah. there's, still, there's so I mean, like, many there, yeah but there's also a stellar school like they still have stellar like like they're, they have great colleges like South like SoCal yeah but and, like they have great colleges mm-hmm. they have great high schools like don't get me wrong like you just gotta you just gotta try, like, you just gotta go there well, but well there's, I've, I've been there like I, I know California. A the little best, bit. Cal- the best California schools are the ones you got to pay to go to, though. Yeah, like the ones in like California that private are schools doing aren't the best technically private yeah. schools aren't in the studies. Oh, are sure. they not? It's I didn't know that. No, it's because like they don't, they, they, don't, don't nec- they don't necessarily have to follow. They're not in the school oh. because you can go to a Catholic or a Christian church or school. Like, there's a Catholic and a Christian school here in Lewiston. And, yeah. they, and they don't follow the school. And, like, oh, if you go, if you go, really if know you go on the Lewiston District website, you don't see anything about those schools. Yeah. I, did, I really did because, not even so know Because, so, technically, private schools aren't in that, you know, standard. Are not yeah, even standard. considered a standard well, school. Yeah. Like, but then that's, like, and I will but also... But then colleges are just a whole different thing. I will also th- say, too, I had some bad teachers... Like, yeah, everyone like, has bad like, teachers. Like, dude, but the, I, uh, I had more I, bad teachers than... I had Miss Canyon for two years in, in elementary. That was fucking Dude, awful. I'm, like, just talking, like, in fucking high... Even in, like, high school, dude. Like, my... I, had, I like, didn't have bad teachers I never had school. really bad But, like, I okay, like... But, well, I'm just talking yes, about, like, sir. teachers that you can just treat easy, me like shit, easily walk all over. Mm-hmm. Like... All my know. teachers, for some reason... I was a jackass mm-hmm. True. in high school. And they liked you. But every teacher loved me. Yeah. Guzman, that old Ms. English. Miss Flory loved Ms. you. Miss Flory, and she was loved you. A bitch and to you, everyone. And you were an I ass. Her, and her, you were. I was her favorite. Yeah. She literally let me do whatever I want. Yeah, be true. on, be on my phone, do whatever I want. But yeah. anytime anyone else, anyone would be on their phone, she would take it. True. There's but just, she would let me do whatever I wanted. I'm not gonna like call, all the teachers loved me. I'm not gonna call the teacher out by name per se, but like did. my my geology teacher that I had. Yeah. I didn't learn a single thing about <laughs> geology, dude. Dude, and honestly, and oh. a teacher you guys already said, uh, I guess I'll just say his first name, Rick. Yeah. Like let's we'll call him Rick. 
Yeah. I like sure. I I did not learn anything. Right, dude. Class. That's why like I think like, it's everyone so loved funny. him. He yeah. was he was a great really guy. great guy, yeah. stand up, amazing guy. But like because he was so lenient and stuff, like dude, I remember. Do you know he's actually going for principal? Yeah. Which is yeah, that is nuts. Like he's gonna be so he's gonna. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's. Yeah, let's not let's not go <laughs> in on that. Let's not yeah. go in on that. No, no, I'm just what? saying. Let's let's I'm, talk about. I'm just saying though, like that's just it's ruthless. That's crazy. <laughs> well, like, the thing the crazy be so lenient on everyone, mm -hmm. dude. Let's 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 talk character. about a, a let's talk about a positive story about Ricky Guzman during. Yeah, a, come on, you don't have to say his full name. <laughs> well, I mean, it's our, it's out. Everyone yeah. knows it's, who it is. Anyways. It's out. No one's it's no LCD. one's forty minutes deep into the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but if you are forty minutes deep in the podcast, give a shout out to our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> but <laughs> but I freaking go out, and he was the uh, the C team basketball coach. The girls. The girl. I remember He's that. The, the I, remember, I know exactly. So this guy is like five foot. Six. Oh, dude, he, he's yeah. shorter than me. He's like five yeah. six, yeah, five five. I'm not. Big. And I just get out of wrestling practice, and he's about to practice with his girls, and I was like, or he just got done with practice yeah. with his girls, and I was like, dude, let's play one on one, and I check him the ball right he, when I check it. Yeah, he, he's, he's so good. Dude, he, no, he's he goes, so good. dude, he bro, goes, that, so good he goes. Basketball. That's not a good idea, Trevin. Yeah, he, he's like, whatever, trees all whatnot, and like this guy, he has like the weirdest form of shooting. It's. It like I wish it you guys could see, but he is drains yep. him, dude. It's it's he embarrassed me. He no, did. It when was I was bad. playing, when I was working at Jeffrey's uh, catering <laughs> the orchards, we were, uh, my boss was Mormon and Ricky's Mormon too, and they would play mm -hmm. basketball in the morning sometimes, and I'd play with him a couple of times, and oh my. Yeah, God. dude, he's a move for how big he is. Dude, I remember he he's be, got some. He I would love to see him and Arturo and Jameson <laughs> go in the one, you know. Yeah. Dude, freaking one Rick time he came one time he came into my map he class and they put on like four oh five on the squat rack and this guy repped out like three reps. Easy. <laughs> Easy and he said his excuse was if I wasn't wearing pants I could easily do more. Yeah. I'm like, what the <laughs> I know it does watch him. He's like, a freak human. Dude, because every time he does something you just doubt him. You, yeah. just, you just look at him and you're like, you can't do No that. way. And then he just gets his <laughs> just, just does goals it. and it's like all right. Like, and before he did the 405, he started off with nothing. And each time he went down, he added a plate, added a plate. And then he went down like a bunch of more other times. On, like, he went down like 10 times on like three plates. Yeah. And then he added the fourth <laughs> plate. And then he went down three times. He's like, you know, if, I, if I'm being honest, I would do more. But these pants are a little too tight. Dude, <laughs> that's, that's how I felt like because I switched out a creative writing uh, to go into a PE class, yeah, and I didn't know I was starting that PE class that day, so I didn't have shorts. Mm -hmm. So I had to ask Colton for his shorts. Ah. And me and Colton are completely two different sized men, especially. And I also during high school. And I especially yeah. liked short shorts. Yep. So. And they were a little too short on Treeb. And they were squeezing my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing like dodgeball or something, and I was just like, it's like I just gotta get through this game. Yeah. Dude, there's, I was literally the whole time I was just fucking, yeah. <laughs> not even giving a shit, dude. Just. Fixing oh, my man, shit. Yeah, that's gnarly. That's, yeah, you. Ne I, I. I. don't understand. Like that was like a wrestler thing, and I was never really about that. The short shorts. Yeah, <laughs> like the real short shorts. I just. I, I loved short shorts, dude. That was never. I remember my, thing. my cousin Dakota gave me a pair of like really short shorts, and I used to wear them to class, and I would get looks. There was a gay guy in one of my PE classes. <laughs> dude, dead ass. And uh, so uh, Arturo's girlfriend, and then my girlfriend at the time. Oh, I have a funny story about her. <laughs> uh, was I in this club? Was it? I think it was. I think it was. It was. Yeah. And uh, the gay guy was talking to Cody and goes, says something about me, about how cute I am. And then she goes, oh, but he's Rachel's man or something like <laughs> that. And I, I remember I felt, that. I felt, yeah. I, was honored. Right? I was honored. Right? <laughs> like, Thanks. Yeah. But then today... I went to Mod Pizza, mm -hmm. ran into Rachel. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Literally got out of my car, <laughs> both walking in at the... We went. We met at the door. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Me and somebody, and then, uh, and then Rachel and her boyfriend, yeah. and I was just like, 
Oh my god. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> like, hey, ugly, how you doing? I was just like, oh my god. You know what was weird? I for... almost wanted to turn around because <laughs> I was just like, fuck. <laughs> what's What's weird for me the other day was that like I, I went to like go pay. A lot of office moments in your life. Yeah, I was like, I was no. like, oh my god, because I did that one time at Subway. Somebody that uh, I used to, you know, whatever. Yeah, somebody that you used to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was <laughs> I didn't know she worked at Subway, and we, like, made eye contact. I was, like, probably 15, 20 feet away from the door, and she looked at me at the door, and I was like, all right, and I just turned around, and I went to Arby's <laughs> instead. That happened to me. That almost, oh. like, that exact same thing happened to me at Panda Express the other day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that was, yeah, that was awkward, awkward for me. Honestly, it was awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> the first time when I ran into her, yeah. I was like, oh, uh. hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Hello. No, but dude, the most awkward shit happened the other day. I was at my landlord's house paying rent, and like, I don't really, like, know her, you know? Yeah. I just go there to pay rent, right? Yeah. yeah. And I pay her in, and then she's like, alright, see you later. And she comes in for a hug, and I and, and I didn't do, I, I didn't know, know like, what to do. Like, what? <laughs> I didn't know what to do, right? So she comes in, she comes in like this, and I'm like that. And I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> my arms aren't extended to hug or anything. And then she goes, and then I go. <laughs> and, then she, and then I just go, see ya. <laughs> see ya. It was the most awkward oh, horrible, dude. interaction I've ever had. I literally... <laughs> I get back in the car and like freaking Josh took me over and I was like, dude, that was the most awkward time I've ever had in my life, dude. I didn't know what to do. You ever you ever been put in that situation where you don't know how to like say goodbye to somebody? No. no you, not yet. Not really? Dude, I feel like, I don't know, I'm always like a handshake guy. Yeah. Like, there's a freaking... I used to be, okay, since we're all this like greeting like type yeah. thing Bryce is a hugger I, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah no shit yeah. Yeah. Well, and, I, and I always tell everybody that I love them yeah. you never know when fucking shit hits the fan yeah uh huh I, I always like, I tell people I love every them every time too yeah constantly it doesn't matter I know I just but no I used to be so like well mannered when I was young yeah like <laughs> I remember this one time when we were going out of town for a trip and there was like this <laughs> restaurant that we went to and I'm not even, like, kidding you. There was, like, 50 Chinese people. <laughs> Dude, don't tell same, me you bowed. No, no, no. <laughs> At the same time, and I am so nice, so I opened the door, and I literally, like, we're leaving. Like, we're leaving. <laughs> 50 people yeah, walk out. Leaving to go home. And I open the door and wait for all 50 of these <laughs> people to go through the door before I leave. Dude, I'm just like, uh, I don't, you know, no, I've been, so, I guess, so I guess I've been in the situation of, like, not knowing when to stop. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, dude, that's kind of their fault for not even, like, like you know, like, when you come into the door and someone holds it for you, and yeah. you kind of, you kind of, like, grab it. Yeah. 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 not a single one of them grabbed it. No, like, I, like, walked out, <laughs> and it's then just they all just dude, paneled in. Dude, it's such a different culture for them, though. Yeah, like, that's true. It's just like first come first serve. Yeah, dude, I, like here in Idaho, we're all like really polite. I hate for the most part. Yeah, I hate weak fucking handshakes. Oh, dude, True. me too. Dude, I went today and I had a doctor's appointment today to meet my doctor for the first time. And he he shook his hand. Did he noodle you? Dude, he, <laughs> he gave me a noodle. He, he, dude, noodle? he was just his hand went limp, bro. Uh, like, and I just like like shook his hand and it's just he goes oh. ah <laughs> yeah. Dude, cause I come in hot for yeah, every time. Dude, dude. I, <laughs> I always, I always give people a good handshake. That's dude, what I was taught. Dude, I, my my boss Ben literally said that that was one of the reasons why he hired me. Cause of the handshake. Cause like when I came in, I fucking just <laughs> shook his hand real good. Yeah, I do that with everyone, dude. Dude, there's like a female coworker I had when I worked at KLEW, and when I first started working there, dude, she had the most firm handshake I've no. ever like, I was like dude it's it's you weird want, you wanted to shake her hand yeah. every day <laughs> have to greet her every day you know just greet like, and a goodbye you're just yeah. like I like your handshakes <laughs> well that's like how me me and you dude like every, every time. time dude just it is just hello goodbye yeah. it's always a straight handshakes dude well me and Bryce that's with us too yeah when I leave the car it's always a handshake dude me and Bryce Same. got our shit yeah. that we've had for and it's just long years, dude, yeah. <laughs> like I don't even Think I don't even about think it. about it. Just yeah. 
Yeah. It's just there. Well, like, that's... Me and Barnage... Me and Barnage alternate. Yeah. Me and Barnage will either shake hands or hug. <laughs> dude, like, I'll, hug, I'll hug Barnage, dude. Me, yeah. me and Barnage are... We, yeah, I guess I, me and him are just the simple... <laughs> that's, me, that's me and Cameron, and dude. That's me and Cameron. Every time dude. with Cameron, I feel like I do that, too. So. That's the same thing with me and Barn, too. We just <laughs> clap, to and clap and knucks, yeah. dude. Every time we keep it simple. And then, and then if we're going to... See pick, you next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we're going to pick Barn up, we're like... Hey, sexy, yeah. Dude, we always half. I half slum every time. <laughs> I usually take a video on Snap, put it on my fucking story. Like, That's what oh, I've been doing at Hunter recently. Every time <laughs> I take him to lunch, I'm like, blessed to go to lunch with this stallion. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love being so nice to people. It makes them awkward. Dude, right? Dude, it's awesome. Yeah. I love being nice. <laughs> Cam's the exact opposite, dude. What's the last time you were nice to somebody? Never. Nice. You are nice. Well, he, you are he, nice. You put big ass steaks for us up at that cafe. Yeah. You were a clutch at the cafe. You yeah. promoted me to okay, so, main okay, piece. Okay, so don't get me wrong. That's don't get me true. wrong. I, I do have to admit, I am more mean and more of a dick than nice. That's just because... You love us. I honestly think <laughs> I show my affection a little bit. By being mean, mm -hmm. That's yeah. fair. but I also hate a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. see, I'm the exact opposite. You just don't associate yeah. with. Yeah, I just don't associate because I just don't trust a yeah. lot of people, That's and weird. just and I and I have a lot of reasons of why not to trust. I why, why I don't trust a lot of people. Just, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, you done been yeah. through it, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we we've been friends since like the oh. sixth grade. Well, that's like all of us. And like, like I mean, it's always true. been that way. But you know, now that I realize, because we went through our thing or whatever back in the day when we were yeah. kids. Me and Cameron went through a thing too over a you girl know. in the seventh grade. That was bullshit. No he way. Who was it? He got mad because I stole his dick. <laughs> What's her name start with? Natalie. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so this is how I started. I was like. I was like that's I was like, I'm gonna pull the gay card. I don't know why. I was like, I'm gonna pull. It was a seventh grade. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna pull the gay card for some reason. And so she bought it for about a day or two. And I was like, I'm not actually gay. I actually kind of like you a little bit. And then I was like, I actually think you're really cute. And uh, Trevor's just ugly. And you should be with me. <laughs> and I, it wasn't exactly like that, but that's how it, it kind of came to terms. Long story short. Long story short. And she ended up coming with me. And, and then I mean, let's Trevin be got, honest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest though. Seventh grade tree was. A greasy bitch. <laughs> oh, seventh grade was when I was at my peak greasy. Yeah. Oh so, man. Seventh grade was peak greasy. I mean, trees. that's the competition was not. Well, fuck it. It's not like Cameron wasn't a fucking grease. Cameron did. <laughs> no, Cameron did. He's, no, he's, he's, he's always been like an athletic. Dick hole. Has he though? Like, always, I feel like I, yeah. in seventh and eighth grade, he just smelt like shit and wore the same no, orange tank top every day. We literally I played football at, 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 at like big. lunch every day, and he was a he, during football. Bag. During he football, his best friends Ethan and Nick turned on him and joined our <laughs> team because of how much he and was hey, a ball hog. And hey, listen to this: I would still win. About Not very often. Sixty percent of the time. I don't. You also that's fucking true. almost end Layton's career. Oh. I broke that. I almost ended his career twice. twice. Yeah. I twice. broke that nigga's arm. I shoved him in. I, okay. I tapped him, not thinking he was gonna go into a fence, he and he goes. Slam that bitch. Yeah. Oh, that shit's all out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, dude, Sorry. Just a quick Sorry. old six pack. Yeah, just needed dude. it for the crew cast, you know. Quick sixer. Yeah. It was good. I mean, like, Delicious one, beer. one of the best Letterkenny quotes is like, I hate it when people say that they're just going to get together to get a couple of beers. You might as well just be honest and say you're going to drink eight, eight beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like so true. That Like, eight beers is like what it takes. Eight beers is when you're Eight drunk. beers and I'm... Pretty yeah. well off. Yeah, <laughs> I've been going to the bars a lot recently. Oh, so it takes you about. So 10, you've been 11. blowing some money, huh? Yeah. Ten like eleven to get you well off. I like my favorite is eleven shots in less than thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that's like an all. That's a highlight, <laughs> dude. So one night, I I was like, this was back when I was an alcoholic. Yeah. Like it it was it was bad. I was an alcoholic. I well, we all day. drink. Every weekend. Well, I drink every day. Yeah, yeah. We drink every day. But we all drink every weekend. Yeah. Like, we Sometimes had, during the night. And that's like kind of what's changed with us. Like, oh, yeah. We used to be so much worse. Oh, oh yeah, dude. So one night, uh, it was a few weekends of parties. And like uh, we'd always have uh, extra bottles. We'd have a little bit of each alcohol, whatever we got. 
And I was like, it was when Treb used to work till like 11 or 12. And I was like, Bryce, we got to get drunk, dude. And Bryce was like, hell yeah, dude, I'm down. <laughs> and uh, at like 18, 19 years old, it just, it kind of takes a toll on your body. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so oh, weekend. we had like what? We had like three or four different kinds of hard liquor. Oh yeah, and, and we polished we just, each of the bottles yeah, we off because it was off. near the end. And we ended up in like I don't know why, but like we were just so into it. We took eleven shots in thirty-five minutes. Oh yeah. And at the time, I was a little bit smaller than I am now. And so was I. <laughs> yeah, we were all a little bit smaller, more. and. I was out of my goddamn mind, dude. Oh yeah, he was fucked up. Dude, we had some good. We, we had some good pictures. Of yeah, we did. Because oh, I was. I have good those. Moments. Yeah, I was saving. I don't know if it's the same night, but I know I have a video of Colton saved, just fucking passed out on, on the, the hood. Top, uh, on the hood of the Honda. No, dude, it was probably that night because I remember just going outside and I was like dry heaving. I wasn't puking. Tree took I a video of me. Tree goes. <laughs> Colton lose the contest, yeah. and I was like, dude, I didn't puke yet. Yeah. Dude, I was driving. Yeah, I was driving. Dude, dude, I have, I have, driving. dude, most of those snaps were in the original crew cast when we all were in. Yeah. Because that crew, the crew cast was supposed to be a one-time thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And then, then we ended up just doing <coughs> it all the time. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Yeah. I that was, that, that, was that, that, that was my highlight moment, because I like hard liquor more than I like drinking Oh, liquor. me too, dude. Well, I because, love beer. Oh, like, I love liquor. I love everything, but, like, liquor just, like, gets you way drunker quicker. It gets way drunker, and it tastes because better. what? How many, like, how many shots do you think I had at that, that, that night, Bailey's birthday party? Oh, at Bailey's? I had a lot, because I was, oh, yeah. I, if I'm I drank honest, a lot of that bottle to If myself. I'm being honest, you know how many times I threw up that night? Well, okay. So wait, Dude, I puked. No, four times. I puked okay, too. Yeah, he threw up like three times. But you know how many hours. jello shots I had? I, I had, had so I many jello shots. So I will many. die for some jello shots. I, so I should have went, went so much harder because I watched you guys go so hard. Dude, because I remember I was going around and I was like, I'm a pirate, and I was just drinking out of that bottle. And you're just popping balloons, and Rachel was starting to get pissed off at you. You're just like, Yeah, No, when I walked in, she was like, Cameron, I swear to God, if you pop a balloon, you're going to get kicked out instantly. I was like, I wasn't going to, but okay. And then I hear one get popped, and I'm like, What the fuck? Why can he pop ones and I can't? And she's like, Don't you fucking do it, Cameron. I grab one, and I'm just like, Put it in her face. I'm like, bah! <laughs> and I was like, I'm not okay. Leaving. So on the table when we did beer pong, this is the first time we've like when I've been in a setting that we actually put beer in the cup. That's Aww. the first time we ever did. Yeah. Cause I was like, we need to do this real, and they were whack. They're weird balls. They weren't like real ping pong. No, balls. They, they wanted it to be. They wanted the spooky theme. Oh, yeah, so they're eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give Which Bailey, is understandable. Give, give Bailey yeah. that, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but all I'm saying is each side was probably filled with at least four or five beers. <laughs> me, and me and you made Bailey take that last big fucking yeah, shot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Me and you killed it. We were 2-0 we and, and then we stopped. Yeah, that's I what I'm saying, I played one though. game because I got way too fucked and, up. <laughs> and oh, in, yeah. in this, we, we picked people who were, we were drinking for in our thing, so... There's five five beers on the table. Yeah. And Barnage is draining them. Yeah. So Treve's drinking. Yeah. And then when we played CC, <coughs> CC's f- cleaned Great. the whole table, so I'm <laughs> drinking. So I mean, You're right drunk. there, right I'm there, drunk. yeah. That's what I said. Right there, we're you know five, no, six, I seven had, beers I had deep because we did two rounds Victoria. back to back. Drink all yeah. of them. Oh and I God. think I played with you against Barnage and, and Bailey. Yeah. And I remember me and Barnage were the only ones just draining and yeah. we were both just and Barnage didn't want to get drunk, but I think he ended up getting oh, buzzed. Yeah, after. he got, <laughs> he got, got drunk. Yeah. He got drunk. Yeah, that's why I had to stop after two games in a row, because if me and Tree would have just kept running the table, I would have been puking in the yard right next to you. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't end up puking in the yard. Was, I think the only reason I ended up puking in the yard was because I wrestled that kid. That's Probably. Fair, yeah. I, just, <laughs> I just remember Cameron smoking a prime time, and he go, he hands it to someone, and he goes, "I'm gonna throw up." <laughs> <laughs> it was no, barnage. I, I was out in the I front chugged, yard. Right, right when I got there, I chugged three of my semi-autos <laughs> within ten minutes. Had three of those shots, mm-hmm. of those jello shots, mm-hmm. and then before I came there, I was drinking at my ex's house. Yeah, and I had 
three jello shots there, and yeah. I had two beers there. So yeah. I was already a little. Well, yeah, you, said you, were, you said you were pre gaming. Yeah, so I was already. I, yeah, be fucked yeah, up. Yeah, so I was already pre gamed coming there, and I did all that shit real quick, and then like, and I hit that cigarette, and that nicotine just hit me. I'm like. Oh, oh yeah, Colton. Someone. Will. I think I was like tearing hold this real quick. And it was hilarious too. I was like, yeah, like, Barnage like, said he wasn't gonna drink or whatever, yeah. and then he literally made me. I wasn't gonna drink that. Yeah. Game. He pulled me in because he was drunk off the first game. Cause yeah. You were draining shots. Because I drained so every like, single one of like, mine three shots. <laughs> so I ended up having to get pulled in, go two games. If I would have went, oh, I would have been so bad. Dude, yeah. It was so. I just remember the first time game. I puked. I. Peep and rallied. Oh yeah. Then I blacked out. Yeah. I I I didn't. <laughs> After a while, I remember that kid <laughs> tore the top of that beard, that keystone oh, off, that was with his teeth, like a can opener, and then yeah. just pounded it in like three seconds. Oh yeah, he's an animal. He, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. He's, yeah. He's a good yeah. kid. He's a good kid. Yeah, better love. He's pretty good. <sighs> so we're an hour deep. Is there anything else y'all want to get off your chest? Uh, Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> ah, okay, we're not going to get into that. He did it. <coughs> he did it, though. All right. On that note, <laughs> we're going to wrap up the crew cast. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you made it all the way to the end of an hour-long podcast, make sure you check all the links down below. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Bond Pixley. Cam, any last words before you head out? Add me on Instagram, get your dot shoes. Colge, goodbye. Bits. Oh, we'll see you next week. Adios.